Parallel compression, New York compression, upward compression. What's the difference? What's it even good for? What's up, audio engineers, producers, and artists? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. On wavywayne.com, you can find session templates like the one that I'm about to be working in that will actually help you to get the sound that you want while you're recording. You can also find some really great, high-quality headphones studio isolating headphones that attenuate 33.4 of uh db of sound passively so that while you're recording you're not bleeding into the microphone and while you're mixing you can hear what's coming through the headphones not what's in the room so check out wavywayne.com today to make sure that you sauced up the right way all right now let's get off into this video we're gonna be talking about parallel compression upward compression new york compression i'm gonna be showing y'all what's the differences <laughs> honestly all right the video the, my my, my jux is over man it ain't no difference it's all the same okay whatever you want to call it basically parallel compression new york compression upward compression they're all different terms for the same thing whenever you're using any of these the idea is to take one copy of your signal that is lightly compressed or normally compressed and combine it with another copy of your signal that is heavily compressed when you blend those in not only do you keep the dynamics of the original signal but you get this super compressed signal that gives you a constant signal level the whole time so it helps to um just add an extra dimension to that vocal and you can do some even cool stuff so i'm gonna show you out a few different cool things that help you add some more dimension and more body and help your vocals be more present in the mix using these different compression technique so first thing first is that we want to find a way to actually create a copy of our signal in Pro Tools the easiest way to do this is going to be through a send so I'm going to set up a send um, and and I'm going to go ahead and, and make a new track first so let's just make a new track and call it parallel compression all right uh, and when I'm doing this I'm gonna actually keep it mono and I'm gonna make a mono aux input and I'm gonna call it PLL PLL one okay Cool. Now that I got that, basically what I can do now is use a send from whatever track I want to add parallel compression onto and go down to the track and send to that parallel track. Or I can just choose that bus. But you see, I'm busting out of my verse track over into my parallel track now on the parallel track i can use any type of compressor that i want i can use limiters i can use saturation tools i can use whatever the hell that i want to man but in this case let's just start off with something like um let's go with tube tech cl1b okay and in this case Basically, what I want to do is I want to really get that needle to be pumping. I want 10, 15, 20 dB of gain reduction happening on my signal. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of that into the mix. I'm going to show you some even more creative stuff that we can do with this. So one way is that first, let's just hear what we got first before we add any parallel compression. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If you wanna go, every day I'm covered in drip, homework clothes. You might drown a baby, better hold your nose. How about the coop? <laughs> all right so that hook part of the verse um that that hook part of this vocal here can come up a little bit it can be a little bit more present um not just in volume but just you know have a little more say it with your chest on it so that's what the parallel compression is going to do for us i'm going to set this to a pre-fader sin now what this means is that no matter what level i set this actual main track to the full signal level and the same signal level will keep coming in to my parallel compressed track the reason i want to set this as pre-fader is that because if i start changing this level i don't want to change the amount of compression that i'm having okay so let's just go ahead and since it's pre-fader I like, I like right and then we're going to turn this fader all the way up i like to smoke and what we hear now is only the parallel compressed track i like to smoke right she likes to roll that's both of them i'm headed straight to the top and, and this is my compression go. matter of fact let me put my headphones on and I got my, let's mute my, my stabs for a second so we can just focus just on this one track. I like to smoke, she likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top and she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in drip. Okay, you see we getting a close. lot of compression on there. You might drown little baby, but I hold your nose. Right. I like to smoke, she likes to roll. So with the attack and release, I typically want to do a pretty fast attack and fast release. 
I like to smoke. She like to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. That way, all of those beginning uh, transients are getting knocked out, and I'm actually able to bring up all of those nuances, all the little tails and the little breaths that's gonna make the vocal especially special. I like to smoke. She like to roll. I'm headed straight to the top, and she wanna go every day. All right, cool. Now that's my per that's my compressed vocal. I would never compress a main vocal that hard, but since I'm just gonna be adding some of this in, I feel like it's okay. So I'm gonna turn the parallel down, unmute my main verse, and then let's start to add some of this in. I like to smoke. She like to roll. I'm headed straight to the top, and she wanna go every day. I'm covered in drip. Homework clothes. You might drown, little baby, but I hold your nose. How about the coop? Ah, oh, man, that sounded a whole lot better. Let's listen. I'm going to mute and unmute. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. And she want to go. Every day I'm covered in drip. Homework clothes. You might drown, little baby, but I hold your nose. How about the coop? Oh, man. So if you notice, some of those nuances are really starting to come up in that vocal. They're starting to come alive a little bit. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. A little too much, go. right? Every day I'm covered in drip. Homework clothes. You might drown, little baby. Better hold your nose. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If she want to go. Every day I'm covered in drip. I bet. Now, this is where it can really get interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and actually duplicate this parallel compress track. So since I'm already sending the full signal, I'm just going to duplicate this. And maybe I want to add you know, some different textures so I can get parallel and get crazy however I want. So I duplicated this one. And instead, on this new one, instead of using a 2-tech CL1B, maybe let's go with something like uh, lo-fi, right? I love the lo-fi sometimes on vocal to add a little bit of saturation and texture. Let's uh, mute this and mute that, and let's just hear what the lo-fi is gonna do. I like to smoke. She like to roll. I'm headed straight to the top, and she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in drip. Homework clothes. You might drown, little baby, but I hold your nose. All right, so I kind of like that texture that's coming in there. And what I'm going to do, that's going to add some grit, some more presence, some more body, some more character to that vocal. So I'm going to turn this down and add that back into my mix. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. And she want to go. Every day I'm covered in drip. Homework clothes. You might drown, little baby, but I hold your nose. So this is adding a nice little, uh, I'm going to bring this uh, anti-aliasing down. I'm gonna, That's just adding a nice little extra bite to that vocal that I think is cool. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If she want to go. Every day I'm covered in drip. Homework clothes. Oh, yeah. You might drown, little baby. Better hold your nose. Let's hear what we got real quick without the two parallel tracks. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. A little boring. I'm headed straight to the top. If she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in trip. Now it's moving a little more. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in trip. Homework clothes. You might drown little baby, but I hold your nose. How about the coop? Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's really starting to come to life. Let's try one more technique. So here's an old technique that a lot of people used to do. Um, I don't see too many people doing this no more. But basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make four more copies of this parallel compression track. And I'm going to turn one hard left, hard right, hard left, and hard right. And on this, I'm going to use four different compressors. So let's get rid of the lo-fi on all of these. And what I'm going to do is actually add uh, BF76 to each one. 
Now, on each one of my BF76, I want to have a different attack time, a different release time, and a different ratio. What this is going to do is have all of these different compression ratios and times. The, the vocal is going to come back to my ear at slightly different times, creating a nice widening effect and give some depth and added dimension to that vocal. Okay, So once I get all these set, then I will group these four and get the levels just right. All right, So let's go ahead and, and experiment with this just to get... I'm just going to be setting them. Okay, that one's on next one. Let's go with the 8 to 1 ratio. And we're going to change the attack and release time a little bit. Okay. BF76. This one, we're going to go to 12. Okay. And let's go even faster. And then all the way up to 20. All right. Cool. Bet. So now let's see the amount of I like to smoke. She likes to roll. Right? I'm headed straight to the What I want to do is just match the level. Every day I'm covered in trip. And see the needle just moving a little bit in each one. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. Don't have to be super heavy. If she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in trip. I'm work close. You might drown little baby, but I hold your no. Alright, bet. So those are pretty evenly matched. And let's just see what these are sounding like by themselves. I'm going to group these. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. And she want to go. Every day I'm covered in trip. I don't work close. You might drown, little baby. But I hold your nose. Right? So if you feel that, you can feel that there's a little, it's like pulling left to right a little bit. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If she wanna go. Alright, let's bring everything in now. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in trip. I don't work close. You might drown little baby, but I hold your no. I like to smoke. She likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top. If she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in trip. Close. You might count the baby, but I hold your nose. Yeah, so that gives a nice natural widening feel to that vocal, man. I just gotta hear it one more time. Let's just I'm gonna I'm gonna actually group all of these parallels and then we'll we'll mute and unmute them together. I like to smoke, she likes to roll. Hold up. I like to smoke, she likes to roll. I'm headed straight to the top, and she wanna go. Every day I'm covered in trip. I don't work close. You might drown, little baby, but I hold your nose. How about the coop? <laughs> man that's how you do some parallel compression you can get as detailed or as complicated with this as you want to or you can keep it really simple as you saw me do in the beginning of this video all right i'm wavy wayne from wavywayne.com don't forget to check out the website where you can grab you a custom pair of wavy one headphones b come on man the best headphones in the game and i'm not capping just because my name on it all right <laughs> y'all be dope Oh,